follow through figure eight, joining two ropes. When you look at it, it's easy to verify. Probably why they like it in climbing gyms so much is that you can tell from a distance when a figure eight is properly tied. So we'll see what it feels like when it's used for joining two ropes. In addition, when it's tied, dressed, and set, like I said, it's easy to verify. It's a rather large knot. Um, it is subject, I mean, you'd have to set it pretty hard. Okay, this is the Zeppelin bend, and it is really easy to tie. It's a left overhand loop. It's a right underhand loop. You pass the tails in opposite directions. Tied, dressed, and set. It's easy to verify because it's parallel on both sides. You'd want to figure eight or some kind of a stop or not. Um, it's not a huge knot. Again, it needs to be set pretty well because it opens up if it wiggles around quite a bit. And it is fairly easy to break open once it's loaded. And this one probably the easiest to open up. Really easy to open. Sixty-seven, and that's what the Zeppelin bin looked like. This is the double fisherman's. Again, it's easy to verify because it has four parallel sides and a double cross. All right, this is a double fisherman's. We'll load it. loaded to 500 pounds and you can already see look at how much is pulled look at how much is already pulled through that knot coming out of the knot back off 
this is hard as a rock and you would be really hard pressed and I have tried to open these before actually using them this bugger I don't know you probably have to you'd have to really pry on this for a while to get it to open up Double Fisherman's, it was the strongest at 4,107. Still not great. Again, that's what it looked like. All right, so we're gonna pull this, first of all, to about 540 pounds, well within the safe working load of all of our arborist lines. Set to 540 pounds, and we've already got quite a bit pulled in. and that's what it looks like and if you do a full turn then you end up with another you end up with a crossover kind of like you'd see with a running bowling Okay, so we'll, let's see what it looks like after we tighten it up. Take apart an 
know it broke and opened up, but geez, we'll see you do that with any of the other knots. There's the glazing on the running bowline right there. It's easy enough to open up as well, it just falls apart. And here is where the cover broke. And then the core broke all the way down at the other end. Go down in here. It broke down in my sewn eye. <clears throat> this is a sewn eye I did to try to get the cover and the core to balance and break at the same time. 5,059 pounds. But again, this characteristic tachyon. Cover broke. Core broke.